The universe and how it works is like putting together a puzzle. Modeling its behavior and understanding how the smallest of particles or the largest of galaxies react requires us to figure out its laws, laws that are quoted in its physics. And although some of the earliest puzzle pieces of the universe go back to early written history such as ancient Greek times, we'll start with the 1600s with work from Galileo and Newton that led to significant breakthroughs in our understanding of forces such as gravity. And more clues and pieces come together in the 1700s. Amongst other breakthroughs in this century was Coulomb's work on electrically charged particles and the inverse square law. And then more of it starts to come together in the 1800s. Significant work uh, from many, including James Maxwell, on electromagnetism. And then later in the century, the beginning of our understanding of atoms and the formation of the periodic table of elements. By the early 1900s, the puzzle pieces were really starting to come together. Einstein's work on energy and matter occurred at the turn of the century. But then by the 1920s, the quantum revolution began to form. It became a roadmap, like the end picture of this jigsaw puzzle was already known. So before all the clues and more puzzle pieces were even found. And some of the new puzzle pieces that would be found after would have to be modified to fit into this picture of the puzzle. And some were actually discarded. And the end picture that physics is working towards now has two laws of physics depending on size, classical mechanics and quantum mechanics. But there are so many new clues that have emerged and a different picture of the universe in the last century. So instead of trying to make puzzle pieces fit into a model that was developed a century ago, and then a particle model that is more than a half century old, shouldn't we be open to seeing what picture truly emerges if we keep putting these pieces together? So for all of you that love to solve puzzles, let's pick on one of the particles of the universe, the neutron. What is it and what is it made of? I will give you five clues that have emerged all within the last century. And can you figure it out from the clues? But no cheating. Don't go to Wikipedia and try to find the current view of the neutron and don't go to the EWT site either. Keep an open mind and try to figure it out from these clues. So let's begin. Clue number one, the neutron was discovered in 1932. It has a mass that is roughly equal to the proton and the electron combined. Clue number two, when a free neutron decays, it becomes other particles. In the neutron's case, a proton, an electron, and a neutrino, an antineutrino to be exact, they are found as remnants. So the neutron disappears and three new particles emerge. Still in the 1930s, another experiment found that certain atoms can capture electrons, changing the atom. So imagine a proton that captures an electron from its orbit. That proton becomes a neutron. Again, all of this was known even back in the 1930s. But for clue number four, we're now going to jump to this century. And because the proton is a key component of the neutron decay process, we'll pick on one of the clues of the proton. Now, the proton was already known to be a composite particle, uh, meaning that it consists of subparticles by the 1960s. But in 2015, it was reported that at high energies, the proton consists of five subparticles. And one of these subparticles is a little bit different than the others. It has an anti-charge. Let's go to clue number five. Just a few years ago, in fact. And another particle that is a component of the neutron decay process is the neutrino. So it needs to be explained. Right, it's helpful to have an understanding of this small particle and its source. The sun emits an incredible amount of neutrinos. In fact, trillions of these neutrinos pass through your body each second. But because they are so small, it's very rare when they collide with an atom. So back to the neutron. When a neutron is freed from an atom, i.e. a free neutron, it decays on Earth in about 15 minutes. 
Now, this was thought to be a constant property of the universe, but in a recent clue, an experiment was done in a satellite around Venus measuring the neutron's decay time, and it's less than 15 minutes, closer to the sun. In fact, this is a good example of trying to make puzzle pieces fit because the scientists that reported on the study had to give a large enough error rate that it could still fit within today's model, meaning that they had to get to within 15 minutes in the, in the error rate. But come on, this is an important clue that is decaying faster as this, these satellites get closer to the sun. So there are the clues, the puzzle pieces that you can put together, and can you answer the question, what's in a neutron? And feel free to leave your comments if you have the answer.